Hello everyone and welcome to part two of To the Moon. Uh, this time we actually made it inside of Johnny's memory. We're actually in his last accessible memory, so um, that's currently where we are right now. So let's just keep going with this. Where are we going? Is he like outside or something? What are we looking for? Might as well just access this. Target. Uh, John may be on the cliffs by the house. Oh! Okay, so... We just have to go here. So not at the lighthouse, but kind of looking over um, where the swings were. Johnny... Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is Dr. Lorenzo von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Or are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking about calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you already called us. Oh. We're here to fulfill our contract with the relative future. Or from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we'll have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. It was just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory. We need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we could just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. Damn, dude! So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for us to help you get there. Do you want the fame? The money? You gotta have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just do. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll do. We need to get to your childhood, but it's too distant to do it in one memory hop. Thus, we need to traverse through your memories with gradual backwards leaps, which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you become to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. Uh, sure. The point is, you'll need to have more than just... I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory... We need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Uh, tap the orb to rotate and quickly finish the puzzle. So basically that's what we do. We just get it so that way we can go in time. Receive note, moon. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped.
And there we go. We're going a little further to the past, I believe. Because we can't do one giant leap to the uh, to the past, so we're going a little bit further back. Oh, it's the platypus. Turn off the visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah. Happy? So basically, I guess they don't want to be seen by him. I, I'm not sure what this is going Jeez, I forgot to ask him about all these rabbits. This is creeping me out now. We probably should have checked his record for psych psycho psychopathy first. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just part of his memory. Whoa. Then I stand by my point. Anyways, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. I mean, I see it. Interact with five objects to establish a memento link. So I guess this is our way of going back. Multicolored rabbit, aren't you special? Oh, aren't you special? Having two colors when all your siblings look like they drowned in bleach. What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, yes, I agree. Um, So we need to find five mementos. Uh, well, that platypus seems to be... Uh, that would have worked. So it's basically find... Can we go through this? Oh, yeah, we can. We're basically not even... We're not even, like, able to interact in that way. So that's one. The clock's moving, but soundless. That's actually convenient. Imagine having to deal with like the big one like that. Oh, okay. So that is the object that we're going to be using to go back. But we need to find four other objects so we can go. Um, so let's just look around and see what I can find. Wait, what? What's this, a million years old? I guess we'll find out. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. So I guess that kind of just revealed all the items to us. I hate this stuff. What's the hate? It's pickled olives. Exactly. Don't knock it to you. Try it. And that's the last of them. What are you doing here, though? Don't. If we have to explain our presence item with every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tempt me. Oh, so he's just kind of giving us a bit of help. So he's just kind of helping us out. From what it looks like, that seems like what he's doing. Or when we interact with that version of Johnny. It seems like what's going on. That we're getting assistance. Right, this is it. Hadouken? <laughs> Hadouken? Really? Ah, oh, you're lame. You can now carry items from mementos and umbrella in your travels. What the... was that? <laughs> what? That's it. I'm doing this breaking from now on. So... Oh. Now what? Do we just talk to him? Do we... I'm trying to figure out what we do next. Oh. There we go. So it's supposed to be a thing where you just kind of figure that whole, th all of that out. And it'll let you continue going backwards. That's what I'm gathering from this. So now we go a little bit further. Into another memory. Oh, we're coming back. Oh, never mind. When it comes to rain, through is better than onto. I don't mind it regardless. Seems like these memories hops are only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento, or it's going to take forever. Meh, just enjoy the scenery. Dude, we're literally going to be... T oh, that's two. That's three in memory. Okay. What was the second one then? 
Uh, this? No. I need two more. Oh, maybe it's in the lighthouse. That actually... That might work. It's finished, River. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. I might never understand why, but I stay true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. But when I'm gone... Who's going to watch over us? Who are you? My name is Eva, and I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes, her name was River. That's a special name. It... It didn't need to happen. Hmm? She... She didn't need to do it. But she... You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. Oh boy. It's getting a little heavy now. So yeah, River was Johnny's wife and passed uh, passed away, I believe, two years before the events of the beginning of the game, so yeah. Visually, I like what they did with most of the game. Like, There might be a few things that are a little off, but it's still really nice to look at. Received note. So now we have a note. Anya, or I don't think we ever got much on who that was, who or what that was. Cole, the moon is Johnny's me the moon in Johnny's memory is full. The clock in Johnny's house never ticks. Someone John and River cared for. Okay, that's what it is. I don't exactly know how much I can talk about, so I'm just gonna go through it, you know, and just react as I can. Because there's stuff here that I don't remember anymore, and maybe that's good, because then I, I, it would be ruined for me. About time you got here. I almost thought you fell off the cliff. What were you doing? Enjoying the scenery. What else? Any luck here? Big luck. Huge dinosauric. Dinosauric, really? Huh, this place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse. What do you expect? Anyways, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. So I have to go and find... Oh, God! I broke it. And now I have to put it back together. Pair. Uh, let's see. There we go. Let's activate it. All right. And we have another uh, portal, I believe. Or another uh, place to time skip. Just enough. After we pay for your operation, we'll have just enough left for it. So don't you worry. White lie. That's what you call it, right? No, I'm sure we just... Stop it. Oh. I don't like it when you lie. I calculate our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my will? We just need the money for your medical bills, River. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this... This is just too much. I mean, she... She isn't even... 
Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just hope you can help me with it. River. When the papers for my treatment get here, I will not sign them. Ooh. What we do with our money what you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant me where I wish, I want you to finish building that house. And then for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her. Visit her. Speak to her. Comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy? I'll be happy. Johnny? Yes. I made this. Tell me what it is. What? Just tell me what it is. Ooh, it's a rabbit, like all the other ones you made. What else? Um, it's made of paper. Very perceptive. <laughs> what else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look, River. I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. Well, would you like to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. It's the little it's the thought that counts though. I, I would give him credit for that. I mean you didn't we really didn't have to bring that piano up, but it's the thought that counts. It's called For River. Aw. Why so cliche? <laughs> it's just a placeholder. Oh my god. I love the music in this game so much. This version of it is just beautiful. Who's this Anya they were talking about? Anya. She's so important, shouldn't we have seen her in his late memories? I guess he didn't keep that promise after all. Ooh. Yeah, unless... Unless what? Never mind. Hey, that's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. You know, I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a quick ride or look around yourself? Go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. We're going to explore a little bit. Don't you miss the days where memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on the job. I think that's piracy at this point. <laughs> Hell, it's piracy when it was MP3. Okay, let's look around. There's a book right here. The Emperor's New Clothes and... Uh, oh, those are familiar books. No, I wanted the platypus. Okay, fine, whatever. Oh, the piano. The piano's gotta be one. Okay, I need to use it on that. Receive note, paper rabbit. Okay. So the thing is, is that with um, some of the items that you look for, not all of them, like, if you see it a bit further back, it's not going to be usable. So you have to look for... What? I'm telling you, there's just no way. What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age of piano moving. You know, if this if it means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do it. I can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. Oh. Oh, and also pickled olives. And mixed dough. Here we go, we have our five pieces to go into the next area. Or to the next uh, time. So at this point, they're just trying to like bridge each one so they can, um, I think, go all the way to his childhood. That's what I'm getting out of this. Uh, that's what I'm remembering out of this, so yeah. Let's prepare it. Um... To 
three. Five, right there. So seven, even though four is technically the best. But let's just go through. Ah, that music is beautiful. I love the soundtrack, so if, uh, if you have this game, get the soundtrack. It's worth it. No, we're still we're still in the same path, uh, same time. Finally. Oh. He's gonna trip. Never mind. Oh, and it's still being constructed. Hey, look what we have here. Or heh, look what we have here. I bet they saw the cliff and thought it was not dangerous without people living on it. Oh, not dangerous enough without people living on it. There he is. Hello. I mean, we're technically not here, but hello. Nick called in and said I should come home. Or that I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Will she be okay? So now we're a little bit further. Her illness was diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills... We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... You don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm... I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm going to tell her that we can afford everything. Oh, this is a little further back. My bad. I, I thought it was a little further ahead. Never mind, it's the other way around. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypical think that you're, you know what's best for her. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. Do you think it's all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, I'm not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff and bring it back to her. It's at least like it'll at least give her comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. He said it's called Everything's Alright. Damn it. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> okay, so that's what we need to get in. Use that for the first one. Maybe the truck? Yep. Uh, um, I guess we just go to where Johnny's going so we can figure out where to go next. Seems like the most logical thing to do. Would the rope count? Oh, the rope doesn't count. So 
Those were the last two. Oh, no, no, we have one more to go. Oh, dang, we have one to go? Uh... It's not her. No. Definitely not her. Oh, the house. Just kind of see how it is. Okay. Now we can go. There we go. Received notes, olives. Pickled olives, I believe. Which is a very unusual thing, but eh, whatever. I guess it is doable. I wouldn't know. I know nothing about fermenting specifics. <sighs> you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep. The construction is starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment. But with the financing, we'll make do. Hmm, wonderful. Having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that's special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations to you two. Hey, cheers. Be right back. I'm going to get some fresh air. Me too. So, I believe this is a higher-pitched version of the song Moongazer, or the piece Moongazer. So, I'd recommend looking it up. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. I can't talk about why. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river. Still so quiet, huh? Yeah, she's actually been talkative at home. And with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? <laughs> wow, that sounds kind of jerkish, but okay. Oh, hey, so did you tell River about that thing from back then? I did. So how'd she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Or origami rabbits? Yeah, lots of them. Huh, I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yeah, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I asked her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strangest part is, I feel like there's something I owe her too. Have you asked Isabel? Yeah. She talked. She says she talked about... Her. She talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I will tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things, so there's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, there's always something wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably. I'm always right, John. Arrogant much? Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits. Forget about the stupid rabbits. We got bigger problems. It's a confined memory, and there's no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we could probably draw one out of him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Hey there. Can I get you anything? Hey, oh, can I get a bottle of p pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Check. Er, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, I'll just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resetted. <laughs> 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 
Hey there, can I get you anything? Hey, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. I'll just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your... Here are your pickled olives? Oh, it's like, here are your pickled... Okay. I thought it was like another typo. Never mind. Thanks, bro. I'll be getting my enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass. <laughs> uh, I'll loosen up. <laughs> that worked. I mean, I guess. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? Oh, why is that a bottle of pickles you're sporting? Pickled olives. Are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle from uh, of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Uh, sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. You can disable taste simulation now. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. I'm still gonna get you back for this. <laughs> oh, you're evil, and it's great. So that's how we got our first toaster. <laughs> You okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could find such things to be disgusting. Take your time. We've got two bottles left. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Poor dude. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. I feel like it's kind of skipping on things, but whatever. And you know what else is wrong with society today? Oh, he's this guy. Okay. Yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Eh, uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally! Dear lord. <laughs> How are the olives, Neil? <laughs> oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And Hulk smash. <laughs> you're such a nerd. Neil, seriously? I'm trying to get into it, and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. So now we prepare the next one. Uh, do that. Two, three, four. Activate memento. Alright then. So this takes us a little further back. Oh! There they are. Cracky nutcrackers? What? Oh, you aren't Australian. Who cares? There's like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can't be hurt here. Oh, are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here if you can't get off. God, I hate when this happens. I swear, this place... Eva, what the... <laughs> Wuss. I mean... She has the right idea. If they can't be hurt there, what's the pro what's the problem? You know. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's no longer needed. No longer needed. By ships, I mean. Y you know how it is. Now that everything has GPS and all. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house atop of here. It's just going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure... We'd be able to see her from the window. Oh, there it is! That's Moongazer! 
in the morning, at night. We'd always be nearby. And... And we could walk here at any time. I know I'm not reading it properly, sorry. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. That's sweet. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, do you, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. True. The important thing is that over here, they're happy. Let's just go. That's that's sweet. So, um, I, I want to continue like trying to like get further and further into the past. However, at this point, I feel that it would be best to close things off for now. Um, so, man. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. When I, when I was in the middle of reading and I said, "Damn it," I legit teared up a little bit because, like I said, the memories are coming back for this game. So um, I remember how good the story was, and it's one of those I'm doing my best not to spoil things. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you think about To the Moon if you've been cur following the uh, current Let's Play. You know this one, uh, or if you've played it in the past. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content I produce. Subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to get notifications for new content, and um, don't forget to follow my main channel, Knuckles Channel 3 and Knuckles. That'll be linked in the description. Um, also, feel free to suggest something for me to play for a future Let's Play, or maybe something I could do for a one-off video. Who knows? Um, follow my Twitch TV page at twitch.tv slash channel 3 nk because I stream there occasionally um, whenever I'm not doing Let's Play videos or the one-off stuff on Knuckles Channel. And follow my social media stuff, including my Discord server, which I'm going to start posting in the description from now on. I know I haven't done that. With that said, I hope you have a wonderful and safe day, and I will catch you for the next episode of To the Moon. I'm really looking forward to continuing this. Take care.